Here's how I can make this liquid chrome background trickery here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with the size as a reference. Let's select the type tool and type in something. Press Ctrl T, scale it up. Press and hold Shift and rotate 90 degree angles. And you can stretch it out or scale it up. And I'm gonna position it here. From here, what we're gonna do is press Ctrl J to duplicate and press Ctrl T to transform. And I'm gonna bring this copy on the right. Also press and hold Shift to isolate. I'm gonna position it somewhere here. A double click and press Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus T. So this way you're gonna create a copy and I'm gonna press the T another time and create multiple copies. Let's select all the layers with the text. I'm gonna press and hold Shift, select all the text layer, right click, convert a smart object. And I'm also gonna position the text in the center and I'm gonna go to the filter, blur and select motion blur. Make sure the angle is on zero and increase the distance to maximum. Click OK, press and hold Shift, select the text layer and the background as well. Right click, convert a smart object. Let's go to the filter, liquify, and I'm gonna select the twist clockwise tool. Make sure to increase the size of the brush. I think this is pretty good. And I'm gonna long click on the center until it's gonna create this a really nice fluid effect. I'm also gonna uncheck the show backdrop so this way you can see what is going on on the single layer. So I'm gonna go and select the forward warp tool and I'm gonna stretch it back like so. And I'm gonna do this on every side. From here, click OK. Let's go back to the filter. Let's go to filter gallery. And I'm gonna go to the artistic and search for the plastic warp. Here you can set up the settings however you like. You can increase the brightness. And here you also got the details, but I'm gonna decrease it on low. And I'm also gonna go down, click on the plus to add another filter. And let's go to the distort and select the diffusion glow. And here I'm gonna decrease the graininess quite a bit. And the rest of the settings are pretty good to me. Click OK. I'm also gonna need to adjust the contrast. Let's go to the adjustments. Let's select the selective color. And first I'm gonna go with the white and I'm gonna work with the bottom handle and then change it to neutrals. Again, let's customize the bottom handle and about least the blacks, same bottle handle. Now I'm gonna go back to the adjustments, select the gradient map. And I'm also gonna click on the reverse because as you can see, the white is outside as a vignette and the center is black. So I'm gonna click on reverse, click on the gradient and I'm gonna start adding some colors. And here you can change up the color, click OK. So it's gonna look something like this. Click OK. I'm also gonna go back to the adjustments, select the color balance, and I'm gonna make it a little bit more colder. If you want to make this more intense, I'm gonna select the gradient map, press Ctrl J to duplicate, and you also can play around with the opacity to make it look more interesting. And that's how I make this liquid chrome here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.